Who fucked that one up? None of, none of us. We just started at a very different <laughs> okay. time. It'll be one, two, three, and then we go. All right. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, Rufio. Yes. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Rufio. Rufio. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jake, it's you, you Cody. Like, no, I jumped in with Anthony. I was, felt like I was with Anthony. I, didn't. <laughs> I was following Jake. <laughs> oh. All right. Rufio. 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 No, we got it. We were getting it. We were getting it. We knew you were on sync right there. <laughs> Honestly, any of this would be hilarious. Too. Like, just us trying to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How are we so out of sync? Welcome to another episode of Comics and Chronic. It's me, Cody Cannon, and I'm joined, as always, with my great pals and co-hosts, Anthony Iannaccio and Jake F.H. Woo! I am what so up? happy, you guys. <laughs> 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 it's just classic happy Jake here. <laughs> the happiest I've ever seen you, I don't you, think Jake. I can get any happier right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell. I can see it. Your eyes are telling the story. They're sparkling, <laughs> and it's definitely not a see those pearly de- whites. Not a one of depression and misery. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's uh, also not a tale of depression and misery. <laughs> <laughs> Directed by Steven Spielberg. I honestly, for some reason, didn't know that it was a Steel- Spielberg movie until just recently. So apparently, yeah, something about it doesn't necessarily feel quite Spielberg. Something I agree, yeah. but there are a few things that do. The music, for one, it's John Williams, as always. There's the yeah, dynamic duo. Yes. But what I was going to say the other day, do so because, like, maybe like a month or so back, I got in an argument with a buddy about Hook. And he's a little older than us, but uh, he's like, man, that movie sucked. And I was like, dude, what? And I was like, everyone I know loves that movie. He's like, no, nah, man, it's one of Spielberg's worst. He said uh, even Spielberg has gotten on record as being kind of like embarrassed by it. Really? Yeah. And I read an article where like he does kind of admit like he thinks it's one of his weaker films. So and then I looked it up because this dude was like contradicting everything that like me, my family, my friends all feel about it. And uh, apparently it wasn't not well received when it came out. Mm, yeah. Really? So we're talking about a cult class. Kind of. It also, it didn't do well in the box office. It didn't, like, I, it, it like wasn't that, yeah, like, oddly enough, although we were kids, so what do we care about, like, things with the critics say and box office numbers? Uh-huh. But yeah, apparently when it came out, it wasn't all that, uh, that hot. But was it the kind of thing that was successful on <gasps> video? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. VHS. I still have it. VHS. That's sick. That box is in pretty good That's condition, really too. Good that looks brand new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I would, yeah, I would do drugs off that box. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'll do drugs next to the the box. I'll, I'll light up the weed that I got. Yeah. I'm about to light up some weed, too. You got any weed on you? I got a guy? vape. 
Hell yeah, let's get a stony baloney. <laughs> I was telling Cody before we started recording, this is the first time ever that I haven't been high before recording. Oh, so smoking this will be my first hit of the day. Not this- me. I've been smoking since like 7 a.m. But I went back to sleep for a little while and stuff. Yeah, no judgment. I always I smoke most of the time, but today I just haven't. Sour Patch Kids, I'm I'm lighting up. I feel like that's appropriate for <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, because those kids are a bunch of Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> yeah, so you, the world of Hook is interesting because, like, are all the kids, like, orphans? And then also, are the pirate people, were they kids who grew up to be pirates? Or were they, like, adults who also got stranded and never, like, you know what I mean? Like, what exactly? Good question. I think they're adults who got stranded is what it seems like to me, because all of the adults are pirates. Yeah, like, it seems like in the world of Peter Pan, or at least Hook, you either stay a kid forever, but if you become an adult, you're, you're going to become a pirate. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, basically, the villain in Hook is getting old. And yeah. losing it's time itself. Hmm. <laughs> well yeah. that's the thing about neverland you never it like is eternal like it doesn't even seem like hook gets older even like once you're older you're kind of you like that age. you're just like either a kid or an adult there's like no in between yeah. do you guys know like how peter pan came about and everything in real like life? the original story yeah. i do no. not know. see i'm mad the dude who wrote it his name is jm barry he based it off of like, okay, so like the, in the book and there's a few lines in the movie itself, Hook, and also in the old school Peter Pan movie where like he says like to die would be an awfully big adventure. He he based Peter Pan, not obviously off a child, but his little brother, the dude's little brother died when he was like nine years old. I think he drowned. Oh. So he based Peter Pan off his little brother and the wrong kid. Died. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's supposed to have like in like in literature he has like a childlike confidence to the point where like is that what finding neverland's about i don't know i should never watch that movie oh yeah it's about the writer it's about the writer and johnny depp plays the writer in that movie correct yeah i never watched it it was one of those movies that was like very well acclaimed but i never got around i never got around to it either yeah for me, I've only seen, I've never seen any of like, I think there was like a Pan movie and then a regular ass Peter Pan movie in like 2003, but I've only seen the Disney animated one and Hook and Hook feels like a live action sequel to the Disney animated and it's not even a Disney movie. Yeah. See, Hook is so good. God, Dustin Hoffman as the t- type t- what d- titular <laughs> villain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he was the I don't know why no one no one is no one that's like going back and playing Disney villains is gonna do as good as Dustin Hoffman. Fuck Angelina Jolie is malevolence. <sighs> Fuck Maleficent. <laughs> Maleficent. <laughs> Malevolence. You can't even <laughs> speak today. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck Emma Stone as Cruella. Really? Know? I heard that movie was actually kind of good. I didn't watch it, but. I didn't care. Yeah, I've heard good things about Cruella, too. I just, why do we need a woman that. Uh, why do we need a woman? Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> why do we need a woman that makes dogs into coats be relatable and like have a you know what i mean like just make her a badass bitch and leave it it doesn't have to you know what (laughs) i mean everybody doesn't have to like have a tragic story that turns them into a bad guy you know what i mean i i totally get that i mean i haven't seen the movie but i agree with that sentiment like you're not really you're not feeling for bad for hook at all in this movie no and dustin hoffman was incredible until oh he gets God. his yeah. wig taken off well i was gonna say i like how like at the beginning of the movie you never see him but everyone's like talking about him like he's like this badass dude like watch out for hook but then once you do kind of meet him you're like this is hook this guy yeah he's all dramatic he's, he's like me i'm gonna kill myself I mean, you know what i mean hook has yeah. killed people before Oh yeah, no, he's for a sure. Murderer, which brings me to my one of my favorite things about the movie that uh, Robin Williams decides to take an army of children 
and arm them with things like eggs and marbles against, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, against armed pirates who are out for blood. Yeah. <laughs> swords. <laughs> they fucking have swords. Dude, but, I mean, and they still lose. Have and they still Rupi, lose. Rupi had a sword. Yeah, and look oh, where it got, got him. He got, he got oh, murdered. <laughs> Rufio. 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 That was bad. Well, let's, yeah, let's do a good one. Co- Cody, you got to get the cadence down right. It's Rufio. 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 Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, so it's twice, and then That's it's the I Rufio. Thought. I know. I don't know if you do. Know. So let's do it. Ready on the right. count of three. One. Two, three. Rufio. 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 <laughs> no, you guys are, it, I, there's a rhythm good. to it. Rufio. 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 That's what you I was doing. You got too slow. Go back didn't... and watch it. I'm telling you. No, I was going too fast. Was, all right, let's try it again. <laughs> you weren't keeping up, yeah, bitch. No, I do it right. Trust me. I've seen this movie a million times. <laughs> okay. I based my entire bro. life off of a hook. Oh, <laughs> 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 Jake is the original thud butt. <laughs> yeah, Jake is. Jake's was like, I want to be Shmee. <laughs> Shmee was cool. Yeah, yeah, dude. He had a bunch of honeys. That also, loved him, are we to and... believe that Shmee escapes Neverland in the end? Because you see him at the end of the movie shoveling snow when Robin Williams wakes up back in England. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, well, and he very wakes it here. dude. And, yeah, yep. but I think it's like kind of implying that like was it real wasn't it real you know what i mean mm. like did peter pan just bump his head but what about his kids have... they went missing and the mom was freaking out and the old wendy yeah i mean i think it's real in the sense that like the events of the movie yeah they do happen, happen. I, I agree with that yeah no but i mean i'm just this saying, isn't like, fucking that's inception whole... cody <laughs> no i'm not saying that it was but i'm saying like that's what the whole shmi thing was Shmee. it was almost a it was almost a toss, which, God, I love Bob Hoskins, man. Yeah. I heard Steven Spielberg was like, I had so much footage of Bob Hoskins as Smee because he's just such a great actor, such a funny dude that I could have just made the movie about Smee, but he's like, it obviously it wasn't about, but he had so much extra footage of Bob Hoskins just doing cool things that just didn't make it into the movie. <laughs> dude, that's, that's Bobby awesome. Hoskins for you. Dude, we need that's the movie we deserve. Yeah. Just Shmi the movie. Shmi oh, the movie. Shmi Origins. <laughs> Shmi is me. Yeah. But we don't have Bob Hoskins anymore, unfortunately. R.I.P. Yeah. yeah that true. sucks. He was a great actor. Dude, he, he really was. Incredible. Super Mario. Super Mario, yeah. <laughs> And fucking Who Framed Roger Rabbit. God, that movie is both doc, both Hook and Who Framed Roger Rabbit really have like profound impacts on yeah, me. And same. Mario. All three of those movies really fucking hit me as a kid. Yeah. I agreed. Also, I always thought Bob Hoskins was Italian when I was growing up. I'm like, yeah, this guy, an Italian <laughs> actor. <laughs> totally not. British as fuck. Dude, and John Leguizamo is Luigi. As Luigi, yes, Hook's right hand man. Right hand man. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi Mario and Mario Luigi. Dude, who, or no, it's Mario, no, it's Mario, Mario, Mario and Luigi, Luigi Mario, Mario. <laughs> which was like the dumbest thing. Oh, well, that's a whole nother episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. Yes. Going back to like the thing about him being based off the son or his son, his little brother. Oh, he yeah, says sorry. certain things in the movie and whatnot. Like Robin Williams says. To die would be an awfully big adventure. That's from the book. And it's supposed to be like, because he's a kid, you know, when you're a kid, you're like stup- recklessly brave. You don't actually have any yeah, sense of danger. Yeah. That's like Peter Pan. And he also has no sense of like consequence. Because when you think about it, like, dude, a child cut off this dude's hand and fed it to an alligator. <laughs> like, <laughs> he thought it was yeah, funny. He, he, he probably like, thought funny. it like, was. Woo-hoo, look, this guy's. And like, it's like, no wonder yeah, this adult this hates dude, his guts. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this is like, Pan is like the family friendly Lord of the Flies. Yes, exactly. <laughs> For sure. Wow, that's a great way of putting it. <laughs> family friendly Lord of the Flies, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, the Lost Boys, they don't kill each other. No. Yeah, they don't. That's another. Th- they're yeah. tough. They act tough like little boys do, but they're little, you know, they're little and shits. There's, and there's no yeah. lost girls, interesting. Except, except for yeah, Wendy. Well, but she grows up. Except for Wendy, and then except for Tinkerbell, there's not really a lot of well, she's a, female she's a fairy, characters in yeah. the movie. 
Right, but like Neverland is very much a, a place that's like devoid of women and girls. True. Like it's well, like there's mermaids. It, oh yeah, Dude, there I are. Remember. But I mean, I mean, not to get even too deep about it, but like, like if you're like a little a little kid, a little boy, right? Like little boys don't necessarily aren't thinking about like girls. It's just like I'm going to be yeah. with my friends and go on cool adventures. It's like literally like. So if this author, what's his name? Jay Jam- Barry. Right. I feel like that's like a big point of it. Like Tinkerbell's a girl, right? But like even there's a scene in Hook where like she's he's finally the same size as Tinkerbell and they're like about to hook hot. up. But like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, honestly, <laughs> I was always turned on as by a, that scene. Yeah, I mean, like same, as a kid, as I didn't kid. know I was being turned on. Yeah, turning well, on buttons yeah. that we well, didn't same, know existed. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So, like, even that mermaid scene when Peter Pan falls into the water and they come up and give him air by oh, kissing yeah. him. Dude, I remember like as a kid, that was like the equivalent of like rated R porn. I was like, whoa. It was like <laughs> sweet mermaids making out with him underwater. Like, dude, I just remember being like, yeah, oh, dude. shit, <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I was the same way. And like as a kid, my mom and dad loved Julia Roberts movies. And I was like, ugh, every time they put one <laughs> on. And like, yeah. like, but I remember for some reason her as Tinkerbell, I was like, oh my God, Julia Roberts is a smoke show. Yeah. Did you have a hot <laughs> Tinkerbell. I also want to acknowledge that Tinkerbell has like Ant Man strength relative to her size. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude, she totally yeah, like punches right. people and they go flying, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, she pulled Peter yeah, to she, Neverland. Yeah, she literally, pulled, yeah, deadlifted yeah. him, carried, carried a full grown, grown man. man. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, it's she's literally Ant Man that's just stuck to yeah, yeah. She's like the Golden Gale of. <laughs> <laughs> like I felt like she's like she's always like I feel like she wants to be with Peter, but he's like when he's younger, he's just a little kid, and even if he did grow up for her, he's still way too big. Like they're not the same size. Like they can never be. It's almost like I don't know if I if that's just me like putting something into Tinkerbell Wait, and Peter was she Pan that doesn't to exist him when he was a kid. Oh yeah. I mean like <laughs> No, I wasn't I jumped the gun on the like, question. Oh, yeah. I thought I I thought I knew where it was going and then you just took it to another direction. No, I just think and she's jealous like, in the like Peter literally grows up for Wendy. At yeah. least in this movie, like he chooses like when he sees Wendy, no, not Wendy's old Wendy, granddaughter. Wendy's granddaughter, yeah. Maybe so she maybe her name isn't even Wendy, Laura. I forget. Moira, when he sees Moira as Gwyneth Paltrow's cameo. Oh, yeah, you're right. As, yeah. When he sees her as a kid. There's a lot of cameos in this movie, by the way. Like, and he, like, that's when he decides to grow up. I feel like Tinkerbell resents that, you know? She's like, really? For yeah. her? Like, for I've been with you this whole time. I saved her ass. Can- yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's why right before he kisses her, he goes, oh, Moira. Uh, oh. You know, he remembers he has a family. Oh, yeah, He's like, no, right. I can't, you know? I'm yeah. still Peter Pan, but I have a life yeah. still, you know? He has to balance the two. Like that's when he, I think he like powers up ultimately. Yeah, because like, his hair gets yeah. all Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah, Super yeah. Saiyan, Super <laughs> Saiyan Pan. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna yeah, Photoshop exactly. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that <would be> hilarious. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, he looked wild. I love that. That was like his character change too. Yeah, his hair just his got hair just messy. got messy, and, and he suddenly had on a green tight outfit and shit. Yeah. I always did. I love that scene when he starts imagining at the dinner table. Oh, it's the yes. it's me, it's, the food at Rufio, dude. It's right after the yeah. insult. He's, yep. he, you're a crude, rude, lewd, uh, chewed a bag of dog food, dude. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ah, wow, nice. And yeah. like, bang bang bang. <laughs> like he starts off just being like, well, yeah. you have a four He's a chemistry teacher. Level, like. <laughs> like, yeah, can't. I, my favorite one that he says because it, it's like such a. Like Robin Williams delivers it in such a way as a kid, you have you it would just kind of slip your mind. He calls Rufio a nearsighted gynecologist. Oh, you're right. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> nearsighted gynecologist. That's oh, awesome. that's hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I loved uh, Hook is so good. Just like one of those movies that's like it ages so well. You know what I mean? Like a fine yeah. wine. I think yeah. if like you really look at the movie, like it's a long movie. It's almost three hours, two and a half hours. Is it two and a half hours? Yeah, it's a long movie. Holy I feel shit. like, yeah, I feel like there's a, like the movie, like when you remember it, it's so good because there's all these great moments. Sitting down rewatching it, the movie isn't perfect. <laughs> so the the middle of it could get boring sometimes. It's like there's too much fluff sometimes in the movie. 
Anthony some Rose. scenes could just Fizzy be a little yeah. bit <laughs> fuck, no there man. are scenes where you're just like even as a kid you're like i'm waiting for now, the like lost boys to come back i on agree screen, with what you're you know, saying like, which i think i agree in that those scenes as a kid yeah but like do now i really like the scene it's right after the kids get kidnapped when they come home from that fundraiser thingy that gala uh-huh and uh who's the old dude that lives in the house Toodles. 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 When he like, <laughs> dude, when yeah. he goes up to Peter creepily, he's like, "Have to flow, have to crow, have to fly, have to find Maggie yeah. and Jack." Hook is back, and he's like, "Yo, what the fuck, dude? What are you like?" <laughs> oh, that's a great. No, that's a great. Yeah, scene. like that's what I mean from before. Like, you don't meet Hook, but like you see that he scraped yeah. the wall. You see that he left the note like in Wolverine there. You know, style. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> also, you know what I wish we got to see? It's like because. Yeah, you don't see the kids get kidnapped. So it's like, dude, do you think Hook's fucking ship was straight up like floating there, like King Bowser style? You know, like, like probably yeah. right. While he just like him and his pirates just like jumped in the house and shit. Damn, that means Toodles yeah, also yeah. like probably saw Captain Hook just like de block the kids, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Toodles fucking just takes off flying in the air. Oh, so I have yeah. a question because <laughs> what's his name? The I forget his name, so I'm sorry to call him this, but the big fat black kid. What's that character's name? His name know. is Thudbutt. Oh, okay, Thudbutt. <laughs> okay. well, at the end, he talks about Toodles, and he says he really did lose his marbles. Does that mean yeah. Toodles used to be a lost boy? Yeah. Oh. I think so. Yeah. I think of it as was... a cartoon. Like, like Wendy has a little brother Oh, that's Wendy's little something. brother. You're right. I think Toodles right? is Wendy's little brother. They don't brother. say right, that. They don't say that. Yeah. But I think that's... Wh- that's why I say it's like unofficial sequel to the cartoon oh, without saying. Yeah. It's like not quite yeah, canon, like use... but kind of canon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like Spielberg. It's like the Watchmen show yeah. after the actual Alan Moore book. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. 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 Great, great exactly. fucking comparison. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if that's... That's the case, then uh, <laughs> who's Rorschach? <laughs> <laughs> is there? I don't know if there no, is me. A, <laughs> well, I don't know. That's too hard to compare. Almost, Rufio. I feel like it's it's Toodles is Rorschach. He's the one that knows what's going on. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Hook is back, like you said. <laughs> toodles, dude. <journal>. Also, <laughs> dude, also, Toodles Journal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I went on a uh, Urban Dictionary and Googled Bangarang, okay. right? And Ooh. apparently, so it's the number one definition is of course the battle cry of the Lost Boys, right? Yeah. But apparently it's a it's a slang term in Jamaica, which means like it's like a hubbub or an uproar or like a disturbance. Like, damn, what's all that bangarang? Ooh. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Dude, yeah. There's this uh hip hop group based out of, I don't know, someplace in the northern Midwest, like maybe like, I don't know, Minneapolis or something like that. Uh huh. And they have a song called Bangarang. Nice. And there's a, yeah, there's a, a song called yeah, Bangarang. There's a group called Bangarang now, too. Pretty sure there's a musical Ooh. act called Bangarang. There was a group called a punk, called a Lost pop Boys. punk, uh, Rufio. Uh, Rufio, nice. Rufio. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah, dude, they weren't great. Dude, I think. No. <laughs> but the, they have that one song where they sample Rufio, Rufio. Rufio. Bang. I like Bangarang. Dude, Captain Bangarang instead of Captain ooh, Boomerang. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just loud. He's just loud. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> that works. Captain, Captain Bangarang. Bangarang. Yeah. Did you guys realize? So, I, oh, I said before about cameos. Did you guys realize Phil Collins is in As this who? movie? The police detective when he comes in the house <gasps> Whoa, after the kids are no missing, shit. that's Phil Collins. That's the OG yeah. himself. Yeah. Damn. I didn't know that. What other what other cameos are in the movie? Glenn Close. She is so when Hook comes out for the first time, he's like, Oh, one of you is, you know, <gasps> You're one of right. you aren't who you She's say the you pirate are. that gets put in the boot chest. Yeah. 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 Yep. You wouldn't know it because it's not her. She's she like, has a beard has and a, a goatee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, but you're right. I think I heard but like that. it's all facial expressions. You That's know? so cool. And then another pirate, and he has even quicker cameo is David Crosby from Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. Okay, I don't know who that is. What? He just I can't, I can't, he had, like I can't put a face to group. it. Yeah, uh, he has like a long white mustache and like oh, white okay. hair. I, I remember I him. Yeah. It's very quick though. His cameos are short. There might be other ones, but those are the ones that like stood out to me. Yeah. Well, I know this one isn't a cameo, but because she's so dank and everything she's in, uh, Maggie Smith as Wendy. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking Professor yeah. McGonagall. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've only seen her, like, as in Hook as a kid. She's and been Sister old, Act as honestly, a kid. Yeah, she's been old her whole life. I can't woman. picture her as a young person. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, she, she plays a grandmother in Hook, and she's she's still she's yep. an old woman. <laughs> Yeah. She never had a child. <laughs> yeah. She just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ageless. Yeah. As a, she's, she's one like of the Eternals, age, basically. You know? She's like yeah. she's like a celestial uh, yeah. being of just, <laughs> just which if I want to, which is actually just as a sidetrack, uh, that trailer was dope. Hell yeah, the Eternals the trailer. trailer I, I don't know. Really I'm know excited. what's going on. Neither I mean, do I, like, but I think that's the whole point. Like we're now entering phase four of the MCU as an audience. We don't know what's going on because they finished. They finished a whole yeah. story with Endgame, and now it's a whole new thing. Right. Like, and it seems like this is like an after effect of Endgame. Like, yeah. That's the plot of this movie. I have the Gaiman Eternals book. Oh, I do too. We but, should do an episode uh, on that one. Yeah. Before maybe before the movie comes out. Yeah. Nice. Because Gaiman writes it, it's great. It's um, that's Ga- actually oh, pretty Neil much Gaiman? the only thing of Eternals I read. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Cody, you said yeah, Gaiman. I, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. who the fuck is Gaiman? Gaiman, <laughs> Neil Gaiman. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm just high and can't. Talk you put the today. wrong emphasis <laughs> on the wrong syllable. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, hell yeah! I'm high and I'm thinking all kinds of crazy shit. When when Peter does start to use his imagination for the food fight, so he yeah, now yes. finally sees it, and you see this giant feast and all different kinds of colored cakes. Is that what the kids were seeing before Peter could see it, or could they everyone see it as soon as Peter saw it? I think the kids saw it before, and like once you like got your inner child uh, back, basically you could yeah. see it. It's yeah, like the Matrix for it's, them. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is oh, no screen. Shit. <laughs> Peter Pan is Neo, basically. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. There you are, Dude, Neo. Who, who would win in a fight, what? Neo <laughs> or, or Robin oh, Williams yeah. as Pam? Or Peter Pan. Okay, so does Neo get like Morpheus and stuff on his back? And if so, does Pan get the Lost Boys? I'm not going to I'm going to say no to Morpheus. Neo is powerful alone. He doesn't really need the help of others. I'm talking about like Neo like brrr, warps and he's like in Neverland. And Peter Pan, the last word, is like, yeah, let's get this dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a new yeah, pirate. Yeah, you gotta kill him. Yeah. I, say, I, say he, I say Neo can't because Neo, like, Neo's such a boring, stiff dude. He doesn't remember his inner child. He's going to be, like, caught off guard You're everywhere. Right. You could be the one, but there's no code to see oh, the inner child of Robin shit. Williams. Yeah. No, you're right because you're also right because no, right. He, he can see yeah, the matrix, but chance. that doesn't mean he can see like what the kids are imagining, you know, with the food fight and shit. So right. like, if a kid imagines yeah, like an exactly. AK forty seven, like, <laughs> he's like, what the? Fuck? He's Seriously. getting riddled with bullets. He can't even, he can't even see, see exactly. Yeah, like to him, it's like imagination is like a program thing from the machine. So he he just yeah, you know, the, yeah. Just so like, it's basically who, what wins? Is it like the science of Neo or the imagination of? Of the, the kids. kids. Of the kids. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go kids. with the Lost Boys and Peter Pan on this one. But yeah. wait, there might be a <gasps> twist. Neo's like in in some reality, I was great with kids. He gets the kids from the movie Hardball, where he teaches. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it's dude, game over. That'd be crazy if these are all just Keanu's variants. <laughs> yeah. Dude, G Baby and the Hardball Boys might be able <laughs> to beat Toodles might and be to beat the Lost Boys. I don't know. That's uh, especially if, if that that's if the matchup that pitcher of the fucking is listening century. to Notorious B.I.G. Then forget it. He's exactly. throwing fastballs at those kids' heads. <laughs> oh shit! G Baby yeah. versus Thud Butt. <laughs> <laughs> she maybe gets a baseball bat and Thudbutt, of course, gets the sword that Pam left. No, Thudbutt just rolls <laughs> yeah. down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> well, and what a weird fucking thing. Like, why why is he able to do that? And he does it twice. That's yeah, his signature just, like <laughs> finisher move. That's like <laughs> Yeah, that's like his power. That's like his You know special. in Street Fighter when you know Blanco I mean? like hurls himself at you in a circle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like his move. That- Thudbutt is basically Blanc. Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I didn't know his name was Thudbud until I looked it up right before we started talking. That's cool. I, I had I no mean, idea that was his name. I was going to keep calling him Little Fat Black Kid, so it's a good thing you can <laughs> his name. His name is Thudbud. I always, Thud as, a, as a fat child myself, I had a very, I related to him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know who I related to. I wanted to be Rufio, but I knew I wasn't going <laughs> to be Rufio. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that. I'm not a, I'm not like a smooth swordsman. Yeah. If You're I was, not. If I was swinging a sword around, people are getting hurt, and not the people I'm intending. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know that that's necessarily true, though, because when I was in high school, my friends and I used to have lightsaber battles, Ooh. and I would always do pretty well. That's I'm going to take that into account in future matchups, like who would win now that I know you're good with a lightsaber. If you were ever <laughs> given a lightsaber, we're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> oh. Who would you guys cast as modern day Pan and modern day Hook? And Are Rufio? we casting Pan as an adult or child? Adult. Adult. So who like would replace? They're remaking remaking Hook? Hook. Yeah. So we're replacing uh, Robin Williams, <gasps> Dustin Hoffman, oh, and uh, Dante Basco. Okay, hold on. Let's let's really think about it. modern day Pan. See, I'm gonna have a trouble picking Rufio just because I don't know young folk. Yeah. So let's, uh, like I said, we could just stick to Hook and Pan. <laughs> 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 As Rufio. <laughs> No, hell no. You're going to whitewash Rufio with Timothy yeah, Chalamet. Yeah, he was already Asian. Yeah, no, Rufio was a cool... That's a cool thing, too. It's it's like, okay, like, back in the 90s, it wasn't like they were doing, like, revert, diverse casts, but, like, they tried I with that the movie, The Lost Boys least. were pretty diverse. There was black Yeah, that's what I mean, like... And all kinds of things. All right, hold on. I'm trying to think... I feel like, not now, but maybe, like, during his more comedic prime as a modern-day pan, like Will Ferrell. Yeah, that not like now because if you see him now, he actually he looks old. Like, he, he's yeah, like he's old. he's an old yeah, fuck. He's old. He just but like yeah, like yeah. Seth Rogen. Oh, Seth Rogen I should like that. Be a fun. Or actually, CMS even yeah. I know they do it in uh, as a joke. And what's it called? You know, fucking Jonah Hill has yeah. pan. Oh, in and, that um, movie Twenty One uh, Jump, Jump Street. Street. Yeah. Jonah Hill's uh, pan would work. Ooh, Hook. I feel like you could you could do a lot of different people. You want to get somebody that's like a really great actor. Yeah. Because Dustin Hoffman, Hoffman is an Academy Award fuck winning. Around. Yeah. So you can't you can't just Denzel smile. Washington. Is, you got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the guy that plays Tywin Lannister. Ooh, Tywin would be mm. sick. Tywin I feel like you need some comedic chaps, though, to be Hook. You know, Dustin Hoffman could do serious and Dude, You don't know if funny. that actor is comedic or not. Exactly. He's been in nothing where he was funny. Yeah. So, like, fuck Dustin him. Hoffman did Meet the Fockers and... <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Sphere. so who are so we casting for Hook? <laughs> is this a bad choice, Bill Hader? He's too young yes. looking. He's too young. I could see him like being Dude, very Justin theatrical, Hoffman, especially when like, he gets his. He's like an old balding man. He's like an old fuck. Yeah, but like he's just white. Like so, so like I'm thinking of like Bill Hader. I don't know why my mind Justin went to Bill Hader. Hader. Also, wasn't as old. You know what I mean? True. I'm just thinking of how like Bill Hader and Barry could be really intimidating, but we know he could also be like funny as fuck. Like he could definitely put on a voice. You know, I, I, that's why I'm going to him. Brian Cranston as Hook. Ooh, how about that? I like that. That would be sick. Yeah, like Brian, Brian Cranston, Cranston is yeah, really good. Wow. I like Brian Cranston. That would be hook. cool. Because he could do both for sure. <sighs> yeah. I am the yeah. one who hooks. Dude, who's uh, Shmi? Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, oh, Shmi. I know who I would get as Shmi. And he actually has done comedy. Uh, you'll know him. It's, he's the uh, he's he played he's the big, big fat actor. He was in Richard Jewell, but he's also in a bunch of things. Richard, Richard. Jewell? You'll know the name. I don't know what that is. Kevin Paul Hart? Thomas Hauser. <laughs> oh, I know who you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah. Dude, he, Paul, Paul Walter, Walter Hauser. Hauser. Sorry. He, yeah, he was an. He's in a lot. Right? He's, he's a. He's he, he's yeah. He's a UCB guy. He's an improv dude. That's his background. Is he, his yeah, background is stand up and improv. See that. So I, I would cast him nice. as me. I like that. Yeah, I can I like see that, that dude. Because I've I've seen lot. him perform out here on stage. He's funny as fuck. Yeah, I, f- I saw him in something recently where he, he was, was really in. Good, he was in a uh, second season of I think you should leave. He's in a sketch. Oh yeah, there he <laughs> is. Right. Where he leaves the he leaves the gambling <laughs> game for like no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's my choice for Smee. Nice, that's a great one. What about Tank? Ooh, ooh, Tinkerbell. I'm also willing to go not necessarily white with Tinkerbell. I feel like the fairy characters they don't need to be beholden to white. Yeah, and also anybody, I think anybody, yeah. an actor so, of color, this could is be Hook. it doesn't matter, Tinkerbell, Peter Pan. Thandie Newton. 
Ooh, okay. I could see that. I feel like she's kind of old, but yeah, she could work. Go Is she? No way. Zoe Saldana. I would somebody. That would be sick. Ooh, okay. I like that more for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That was Zoe Saldana would be a sick. Or you know who else would be a great one? Because she's funny and uh Issa Rae. Issa Rae. <laughs> no. Nikki Glazer. Um, Issa Rae is uh, Tinker Bell. Uh what's her name? Nikki Glazer is in, Gosh, she's <laughs> in uh Daredevil Jennifer Garner. Clerks 2. Daredevil Clerks 2. Rosario Daredevil. Dawson? Yeah. As Tinkerbell. No. I feel she's like she's kind of old, too. Old too. Ooh, maybe you're right. We can't have no abuelas being... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay. Who would be a good... <laughs> Why did you say a well? Because I was uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, I was saying yeah with Torian and Ken, and, and Torian just kept saying that like he's like, you ever see like a Spanish woman and she just is, turns around and she's really old, but like she didn't, you didn't think she was unless, until you saw her face. Like that's an abuela. That's fucking hell. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> we can't have any abuelas. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. All right. So what are we giving Hook uh, on the Joe Pesci scale? Six Joe Pesci's, no question for me. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with the uh, the old six. Dude, it's like a pivotal part of my childhood. Yeah, it really Hook was. Hook slanderers, I will fight you. Dude, I will yeah. fight someone. I, I'm going to give it a 5.5, though. Of course you yeah. are. Yeah, why are you... <laughs> Because, like I said, the 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 middle of the movie, even Steven Spielberg, like what I've I also saw an interview where he was like, yeah, he doesn't consider it because dude fucking made Indiana Jones, he made Jaws, like of course he made way better movies than Hook, but what Jaws is way better than Hook? Yeah, come on, I come love on. Jaws. Yeah, I love both, but uh, to Jaws me, is Jaws the movie, is way it's better his first than Hook. movie. It's the one that put him on the map. And it's just like one of the best movies ever. I, I watched both recently, so I liked Jaws more. Whatever. The point is, even he will admit, like, he doesn't feel like it was, like, he, like, the beginning of the movie is fucking great. Like, it hooks you into the movie. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> and at the end, it's, like, such a great, the last act of the movie is so cool. The, such cool battles. Like, like, also, Robin Williams himself, like, he wanted to be more like peter pan you know like in the beginning of the movie he doesn't there's a it's like 40 minutes where he's yeah, just he, peter he's an Banning. adult and he's going to baseball games on a cell phone and doing business shit yeah and so i think he even wanted to be a little bit more you know childlike i think it would have been funnier i'm not saying look the movie's great but that's it's not perfect so six to me is perfect you know exactly like mortal Kombat. So. <laughs> <laughs> So I gave it five point five. I, I I always disappoint you guys. Like I still love the movie. I haven't given it my final verdict. Insane. Oh, I might have. But a <laughs> I don't really have beef. I, no, I gotta go with my gut on this. You guys, I'm giving it a six. Ooh, same man. Hook, Hook holds a special place in my me. heart. I'm not gonna let my adult critical mind tarnish it. Yeah, it's, it's See Anthony, that, that's the problem. See Anthony would be a pirate. You know, he, you're thinking you, you're, you're, you're looking no at way. Hook with too Dude, much of an adult mind. I was mind. literally thinking the entire time that in real life, <laughs> I've basically just been pan. You know what I mean? I've, just been, uh, I've never lost that inner Ooh. child. Like if I got taken to Neverland right now, they'd be like, eat some food, and I'd be like, fuck yeah, and dig right in. Cody, do you know think you have shit. the biggest inner child out of Ooh. all of us? I think I so. felt I felt like I was. You guys always think I'm younger than I am. I think. Uh, see, I think you're pure. <laughs> <at heart. laughs> no, this, I disagree. I think I have the biggest inner child out of all of you, Cody. I think Ooh. I think you just are a child. And you're mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god you're dead <laughs> <laughs> Anthony yes I do often think you're younger than us but I don't know if you have a a playful soul am I like an old kind soul of. you're like an old yeah, soul like I'm more of an old soul <laughs> than me because yeah, I'm just amazing I, and dope I of course am <laughs> I think to be in comedy, you still you need to be in touch no, for with sure. you know yeah. that childlike. We're you know, all dope children, you guys. 
No, <laughs> I'm the dopest. <laughs> Dude, if, we, if we were the Lost Boys, do you think we would fight for power, Cody? You and you, oh, you for and sure. And Anthony? You and me, Anthony. Would you yeah. try to fight for power? Would you try to become the Pan? Uh, I would do the same thing Rufio did. He was <laughs> you cross the line. If you're on my side, you're on uh, my side. If you're not, I just then want you're to point not. out. You know, it was it was pretty democratic. It was, but then he lost support once Pan came back. Yeah, yeah, but you got to bow down to Pan. He's the Pan. No, I think Pan I think it, like Rufio wasn't good enough to lead them. That's why he died at the end. Oh shit! I think he died because <laughs> Hook was the better swordsman. Exactly. And who was the better swordsman than Hook? Pan. Pan. Actually, Therefore, he should be the leader. That's he not true. It. In in the movie, oh. Hook Hook disarms <laughs> Pan. Remember? It's not until the alligator. Oh yeah, you're so, right. The you're right. Just don't want to get technical there, but. <laughs> his hook's parrying abilities with his sword were better than Pam's. True, yeah. very true. Yeah, it wasn't until the Lost Boys busted out the clock. You know what I always good, loved about that point. movie was that that alligator is fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. legit like a thirty foot gator. Nothing's a dinosaur. Yeah. Oh yeah, know what it turned out. So like a lot of that movie is like on movie sets, right? Yeah. It's not like anywhere. Like they just they're in like a movie set on a movie uh, lot or whatever, and. Uh, apparently the guy who made all the sets made the same sets for Cats the musical oh shit and they actually thought Hook might be a musical when they first started making it so you could see how some of the movie kind of feels that way like if they were to suddenly start singing you'd be like okay that, that well, makes Peter sense Peter Pan is a musical I grew up watching long before Hook came out there's a British version I forget the actress's name but uh, it's an old like 1960s 50s play I think Veronica mm. Lake it was, yeah, it was made in 1951. I'm looking it up right now. But I grew up... Oh, randomly, yeah. I, I just thought Jake Gyllenhaal might be a good Peter Pan, too. Oh, I like that. I can go with... Or <laughs> Batista. <laughs> Batista. <laughs> Ooh, Batista has hook, though. Batista has hook. hook. Uh, He's like Batista has me. How about that? That's the biggest yeah, like Smee Batista I've ever seen. Smee. Yeah. yeah. But now, he's I so chill. Batista he's not trying has to hurt toodles. Him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I lost my marble. <laughs> yeah, I lost my yeah, just like <laughs> Okay, wait. Batista's who are we old? casting as Wendy? Um Old Wendy? Both Wendy's. So Cameo, Gwyneth Paltrow, Wendy, and then Maggie Smith, Wendy. Cameo, Gwyneth Paltrow, Wendy. I nominate Jed Apatow's daughter. Just because I don't know any other young people. Why do you even? Why do you even know her? Because <laughs> like, she's in all she's of in his movies. Stuff. Yeah, but as like a child. Exactly. As oh young yeah, Wendy. yeah. And she was as also Cameo. in Girls. She's in Girls. Oh, yeah. okay. Then this is an obvious choice. Lena Dunham. She's been. She's as been in a bunch Wendy. of stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nah, man, we gotta do. You some grew of up it. for her, Peter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's Moira. You guys keep confusing right. Wendy and. Oh right, right, sorry. Right, right. Second, get your lore straight, boys. <laughs> Ooh, so who are we casting as Moira? I'm gonna go with Sienna Miller. Sure. I mean, I don't, I don't know who that is. I've heard her name. May, I probably know her by face. Or Kate Winslet. Nice. I'm honestly, I feel bad at casting. Like I'm not good at it. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> 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 Uh, well, At least I can pronounce yeah, things. Seriously, yeah, you illiterate yeah, fuck. You guys, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cody, it sounded like you were you were leading us out. Cody? <laughs> <laughs> I just got sad because Jake called me an illiterate fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, boys. Well, let's let's wrap it up. But I thought you <laughs> All right. Well, this has been a special uh, hook edition of Comics and Chronic. Hook Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you're hooked on Comics and Chronic now. Oh. And if you're not, then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope you hook a rope Whoa. to a high ledge. Tied or <laughs> Gotta stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we don't. We don't. We don't condone suicide here. <laughs> we don't speak for you. <laughs> Unless we're talking about suicide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Call one eight hundred. Do not kill yeah. yourself, please. Yeah. If any of you have any symptoms of 
<laughs> of being a oh. bitch. Oh. <laughs> We're just going in on this. <laughs> You have any symptoms of suicide, like, <laughs> well, like lack of life, or yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, rig of mortis? <laughs> oh. Best ending ever. <laughs> Hell yeah. well, Press like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, you're listening to Comics and Chronic, and I'm Jacob H. I'm Cody Cannon. And I'm Anthony Iannaccio. And you can tune in every Thursday to hear new episodes of Comics and Chronic. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Comics and Chronic. That's Comics, the letter N, Chronic. We'll see you guys next week. Woo! Peace.